Hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is day 25 out of 30 of me talking to the camera. The purpose of this challenge is to help me gain camera confidence, and in the description down below uh, is linked to my first day of this challenge, which will give you an idea of what the purpose of this goal uh, of this challenge is. And in today's episode, which up on the screen you will see the guide I've been using to give me uh, uh, prompts every day, the one for today is to share something you've learned recently. I will not be doing that. Instead, I will be going back to day 20 because I'm pretty sure day 20, I did not do that. And it says to reflect on how you've grown over the years. And I'm going to do a twist on that or just kind of talk how I feel like I've grown over the years. And to, and this is going to be more like my terms of YouTube and things like that. Um, so to get started, I have always had a camera, at least I've, I, I've been filming at least with my webcam and then transitioned into like smaller camcorders and cameras that my parents bought me over the years. Um, and then Windows Movie Maker was my go-to uh, video editor. And then I eventually transi transitioned into Sony Vegas 11, I think, which was bootlegged. Uh, cops, please don't get me. I don't use that anymore. And I always felt very awkward in front of the camera. And I just always felt like I wanted to be behind the camera and do the editing. And that's just been kind of my thing. And so I was always like finding my friends being like, hey, you want to make a video? You want to do this? And they were all for it because, come on, it's YouTube. Everybody wants to be on YouTube. But the problem is that no one actually wants to do... Sorry, my nose is just... The problem is, is that nobody actually wants to do the, the recording, the editing, the... All, all the parts that I think is fun. But in recent years i feel like i can't just readily say hey friend do you want to make a video like it's just not practical and so i've realized within the last year or so that in order for me to be able to edit my own videos i am going to need content and in order for me to make content i have to make it myself and so i've been using youtube for the past i don't know if you want to get technical my youtube channel has been around since 2009 i was like eight at that time but and clearly my mom was okay with it for some reason, but we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like I've grown over the years by at first not being very comfortable in front of a camera and always feeling like I need to be behind the camera in order for content to be good. And then I have now realized that I can be in front of a camera and with this challenge, I have done a lot better. I feel more comfortable. I don't feel as weird. I'm still getting used to editing myself. I'm still not comfortable with like seeing my face yet. Um, I will share a few comments I've gotten recently and thank you to you guys. Okay, so the first comment, which is up on my screen now, from a person by the name of Just a Girl Name... I'm gonna butcher this, but Vali? Uh, they said, way to go, Megan. Your voice is indeed very nice to listen to. I am glad I came across your channel. It's motivating. Which, thank you for commenting that. It's just nice to see the comments and people interacting with my videos. It, it makes me feel like that I'm actually getting somewhere. Then the second person, which she actually commented on my first video and then yesterday's video. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Which, up on my screen, is the first comment that she made saying, uh, to be honest, you're a really good speaker. Your eye contact was great, and although I know how uncomfortable it is to speak to a camera, you are doing a great job. You are your own worst critic. I'm excited to see your progress. Super proud of you face, uh, so proud of you for facing your fears and doing the uncomfortable so that you can grow. Then the one she posted in yesterday's video was, you've come a long way. I can see that you are going to, uh, I'm so sorry, I can't read. You've come a long way. I can see that you are getting more comfortable in front of the camera. You go, girl. So thank you so much for commenting, too. It really made my day. Um, so, yeah, it's it's things like that that's motivating to me to help me project and talk and hopefully gain an audience. I think my big issue is right now is that I can't stick to a niche, that I'm trying to bounce back and forth from crafting and vlogging and the vlogs have nothing to really do with crafts um so i don't know if i need to create a second channel for this maybe my vlogs on one channel and crafting on another and just an update that i have been looking for side projects to help people video edit and i've been using my youtube channel as my uh what do you call it 
I've been using it as my portfolio. Sadly, it's not much because there's different types of YouTube editing styles and this is only like a live action version as what somebody said. But I am working on a few things so I will talk more about that at a later point if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, so that will conclude today's video. Thank you again for watching and sticking around for all of this. I really do appreciate all the comments. I mean, they're not much, but it's something. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Adios!